Let us consider the generic model for the open loop system. It comprises mainly of the analog to digital converter and your digital controller, the zero order hold, and your physical plant that you're trying to control. Now the A to D or the analog to digital converter is responsible mainly not only for sampling the analog signal, E of T, but also responsible for quantizing this signal into discrete measurements to produce a digital signal with finite level of numerical precision. If we consider the error signal in time domain, it looks like this. Then perhaps your output sequence or number sequence E K of T after the sampler will look like perhaps something like this. Then the digital filter processes this number sequence EK of T to produce what we call the output number sequence MKT. So perhaps we get something maybe like this. Here the x-axis is time, here is kt. Remember that the output of the digital controller mkt must be converted to analog uh, signal before it's fed to the plant or the actuator we're trying to control. So this control signal mkt must be converted from a digital signal to an analog signal so that it can be used by the physical plant or actuator. For example, an actuator such as a DC motor or a solenoid would both require a continuous time input voltage. So this is where the digital to analog converters come to the rescue. The main job for the digital to analog converter is to create a continuous time signal as required by the actuator. Now, one method of the digital to analog conversion is what we call the zero order hold. So the way the zero order hold works is by holding the digital value constant during the sampling interval and then changing the output amplitude to the next sample interval when a new digital signal is computed as such. And here we have uh, the intervals of capital T, which is the sampling time. Now the general structure of the digital control system is a closed loop where as discussed before we have some sort of feedback information via a sensor and a summing junction with your desired input. Your software and PC or microcontroller is responsible for this part but some boards they include the analog to digital conversion and the digital to analog conversion so this is your PC or microcontroller plus software your physical or hardware is your actuator. 
it should be stressed that the selection of the appropriate sample period TS of a digital system depends on the response speed of your physical system there will be further videos about this topic later on uh, so it is important to keep this in mind and remember that the sampling period is the time between samples and keep in mind that that there are no information available in between the samples we have no information here so the discrete signals MKAT for example only exist at sample time when time is equal a multiple of your sampling period it's worth noting that the accuracy of the zero order hold depends on the sampling period when the sampling period approaches zero or become very small then the output of the zero order hold approaches the continuous time signal Please remember that the Control System Toolbox in MATLAB offers several discretization and interpolation methods for converting dynamic systems between continuous time and discrete time, and for as well resampling discrete time models. Some examples of other discretization methods used in MATLAB Control Toolbox are the first order hold so instead of the zero order hold a first order hold is used uh, sometimes we have to use the Dustin method or Dustin approximation we will uh, discuss this later on so uh, some methods tend to provide a better frequency domain match between the original and the converted systems while others provide a better match in the time domain so the general structure of a digital a uh, closed loop control system uh, includes a sampler and a discretization device. When the user input the required parameters via a interactive screen perhaps or a PC software and your sensor output is digital as well then in this case you are more likely to have a sampler before the sensor and your PC or microcontroller in this case is this part this is your digital controller or PC or microcontroller plus software finally please note that the above general structure of a control loop is often simplified by assuming that it has no disturbance or perturbations and we also assume that the sensor transfer function is equal to 1 remember the sensor transfer function can be verified experimentally if it's not given in the datasheet if your sensor transfer function is not equal to 1 which is probably the case then the sensor behavior can be incorporated in the plant transfer function so if the sensor transfer function is not equal to 1 then H of S can be incorporated into 
the plant transitions. For convenience, if the sensor transfer function is not equal to 1, we can still assume that h of s equals to 1 as long as the sensor behavior is incorporated into the plant transfer function. This was a quick review on the structure of the digital control closed loop systems together with the sampler and data hold representations.